Hey guys, it's uh, Andrew from Australian Gear Addict and uh, just here with uh, another product review of a military spec loader bag um, from a US manufacturer. Um, anyway, this is a, a full spec military loader bag and, and the reason why we sort of kind of uh, got it in was just to kind of, I guess, review the actual quality of the product itself. Um, we heard lots of good things about it and, and really kind of wanted to kind of assess this uh, kind of within its own right and um, one of the, the big grabbers for us was uh, this particular product was, uh, was usually retailing at about $520 US uh, without posting and, and it's been sort of dropped down to uh, $250 uh, US so um, you know there's a great sort of buy opportunity for uh, people in Australia that want a you know bag that will last them forever. Now the other thing that we're doing is we're also sort of forming a kind of little buyout group so you know if um, or a little buying group I should say so if anybody's kind of interested in, in sort of acquiring stuff uh, from the US and you know uh, doesn't want to pay those massive shipping charges on their own or wants to find ways to get that stock a little bit cheaper you know come in uh, join our buying group and um, you know when we've got, got enough people uh, and enough orders in place uh, you know we can get it at not only at a better rate but at a better shipping rate as well so we're in sort of discussions with these guys um, we're sort of negotiating getting these uh, these items, uh, you know, anywhere between uh, I guess 150 and 180 US. So, um, you know, that's a pretty significant difference by comparison to um, the $500, $20 recommended retail rate. But uh, let me talk about the bag. Um, this is a full uh, military spec uh, uh, loadout bag. Uh, it's effectively uh, one meter wide over here, and um, it's five. 100 millimeters or 50 centimeters that way and it's 35 that way so um, just to give you some context over here in regards to how deep this thing is that that's a pair of uh, military boots so if I put that down here like that you can clearly see um, that this is a pretty deep bag and it's a pretty big bag uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm actually astounded by it because uh, you know you, when you think about a meter you, you don't really kind of put it in context to what a one meter bag or a 110 meter bag would look like but just to kind of show you the difference I mean over here we've, we've got a set of, of you know of, so it, it's a barbell you know so um, I mean look at the size of the bag next to the barbell it is just enormous and you know this <laughs> this is a great bag for anybody who's who wants to kind of lug stuff around especially in the back of the four-wheel drive or you know in their trunk so you know if you're you're an outdoors guy or a camping guy and you you want to kind of load things on you know in, in and out um, this is a perfect way to, to to keep all your stuff organized and um you know secure so anyway let's um let's get into the features of the bags so you've got the dimension um in regards to capacity, this is a 165 litre bag. It is just, again, enormous. Um, it comes down with these um, compression straps. So if you're carrying lots of heavy stuff, and let me get that microphone out of the way. Um, if you're carrying lots of heavy stuff, you can cinch everything down um, and then you can keep that secure. At the top over here, you've got a basically a, a map or a document holder that'll that'll fit an a4 page um, nice and easily for you um, there's no little uh, i guess identity or document window come down here and um, the guys also give you a um, nice little um, security lock as well so you can lock the bag up with so that's nice and handy so let me just show you actually the uh, security zips over here so, and, and just look at the quality on uh, the build and stitching over there. Those zips are just absolutely, absolutely solid. Just really, really well constructed bag. And of course, as you'd expect, because it's mil spec, they're all metal zips, you know, they're not gonna break real quickly. Um, yeah, they're pretty solid. So I'll just, I'll just open this up and show you the inside. So um, when we open up this particular bag, I mean, what you got over here is just an organizer's, organizer's dream, really. Um, 
you've just got web pockets everywhere. So, you know, you've got these huge web pockets on this side. Three of them smack bend in the middle. You know, you can carry all your uh, outdoor equipment or your personals in it or whatever you want to really carry in it. And on the inside of this, you again, you've got some more web areas for you where you can, you know, just store your equipment again. Just a very, very highly organized area. So, you know, you've got some in the front, you've got some in the back, you've got four of those web pockets and um, you've got these dividing walls as well. So they're really handy and they're all velcro to the side. So if you want to move them around or take them out, you can do that. So you can really kind of shape, you know, the bag to kind of suit your own needs. Another little great thing that comes with the bag as well is that basically it comes with the, um, basically a soft case pouch area. And you can probably carry, you know, a 12 or 15 inch laptop or your iPad or any other sort of electronic devices. You know, I've seen some, uh, some video where mill guys or guys in the security industries have, you know, put a couple of guns in there or handguns themselves uh, in there or taken the whole lot and, you know, put in all their, um, all their tactical gear and chest plates and all that sort of type of stuff, uh, you know, if you're, um, if you're in the uh, security or, or armed forces. Um, so, in regards to uh, other features, um, talking about pockets, um, there's two large, very, very large pockets on the outside. Again, sort of double steel zips that come in. Massive, absolutely huge. You can get in there. Um, they're roughly, uh, I think it's about 40 centimetres uh, in, in length this way, and they're 30 this way, and they're 7 inch deep. So, you know, you can really store like a lot of stuff in there. You know, it's really really handy to have all that storage externally as well and uh, believe it or not there's, a, there's there's another ultra long you know pocket on the outside uh, um, of the bag as well so this one runs all the way along the outside and and, and you know this is perfect for uh, you know if you want to carry you know a single or a double tent you know some of these sleeping bag systems you know other stuff that you do really kind of don't really want on the inside of your bag you know, I mean, it could be, uh, God knows, I don't know, you know, cooking stuff or whatever, you know, who knows. But, uh, I mean, if you're using it uh, as a, you know, um, as, a, as a normal person, um, you know, this is just a, a great storage and, 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 you know, travel bag where you can carry all your outdoor equipment in, um, you know, and, and just, you know, you know, have it so you can sort of kind of wheel it around, you know, with these, chuck it in the back of your car, chuck it in the back of your boot, and you're, you're ready to rock and roll. Um, absolutely kind of fantastic bag. Now, just talk very quickly about the construction um, of the bag. Again, so just having a close look at the stitching and the materials here. I mean, this stuff um, has just been so well crafted. It is a great piece of work. And I tell you what, for half the price that it was retail, it was worth every cent. Oh, I'm just extremely happy uh, with acquiring one of these bags and um, highly recommend uh, you doing so as well. So let's have a look at some other things as well. Now, all these side walls of these bags over here, uh, they basically take foam inserts. So, it, you know, it's relatively sturdy. Um, on the back of the bag, there's the base of it is made out of Kydex. And um, all these rollers are again a kind of solid plastic kites material, and, and then you kind of got rubber wheels with bearing on there. And uh, a very, very nice touch again, just to go to the quality of the manufacturing of these guys is that any area that's kind of exposed to uh, potential, you know, wear and tear and being roughed up is, is all reinforced again with, you know, with PVC. I mean, just even in these corners over here, you know, so they've, they've really kind of thought about this bag. And, um, you know, there's a reason why there's, you know, initially a high cost to kind of associated to this product um, because it's just so well engineered. This is just a great bit of kit. Um, look, if you're, if you're interested in effectively getting involved the, with the buying group and, and um, getting some stuff in for cheap for yourself, uh, get in contact with us. Uh, if not, uh, that's cool too. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the review.